So we're in a taxi and the taxi from here to the where we're going costs $42 um, USD which is about 113 um, Antiguan What's your currency? Is it Antiguan dollars? We use Caribbean and we use American. Caribbean dollars? Eastern Caribbean dollars, yeah. Okay. But we just say EC for short form. EC? Yeah. All right. No. Beautiful here, by the way. Thank you very much. Well, welcome to Pineapple Beach Club. Thank you. You're welcome. The center is for me right here to the left. Push. Push it. Yes, push. Can you have a seat for the head here for me, please? Thank you. You're welcome. For the center and the club. Indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is this local rum? Yes. Ah. What's it called? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Taking a tour. Yes, please. You left here by the white door. That's the coffee shop. All right, the red door is a gift shop. The island tours. That's where you book all your tours and all your. Okay. In the middle, that's the main bar. All right. That's of course. That's a topaz restaurant. The main buffet. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. It's real cool. This is the first time in a very long time that I've been away on a trip where I have had nothing to do with it. I haven't organized any part of it. So I'm very excited to just chill, sit back, relax, and just be spoiled for like the next week. That is the plan. Yeah, happy birthday. You made me feel like I spoiled too much. <laughs> <laughs> Bikini's on. It's not even been an hour since I got here, but I've got my fit on. Black owned, of course. This is this is the name of the brand. She in Antigua. She in Antigua, guys. Look. <gasps> my smile is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this beach right next to us. It's literally right next to us. There's like a volleyball area here. They might see me, they might not see me. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go and get some food now, to be honest. My hair, I love my hair. RD Hair Studio on the hair, black owned. Look at how long it is. So freaking cute. And a little bit blonde too. My edges look cute, cute for now, but give it, give it three minutes. But either way, I am ready to go and enjoy myself in Antigua. Stunning, and this is our view straight from our veranda. Beautiful. So the first stop is the bar. Antigua White Rum, that's got my name all over it. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm so tired of hearing this girl say Antigua. I must have corrected her a thousand times. I don't want to listen. Daiquiri. Okay. Strawberry piece. Boo says that there's an infinity pool right here that slaps. Good morning from Antigua. 
what? This is me and my ball at the beach right now. There he is, <laughs> living his best life in the water. And um, we woke up really early, super early, just so that we can enjoy the beach by ourselves. Um, I am so freaking excited to be here and just to be in the sun. My hair's out, my skin is out. I feel good. Look at how stunning. So good. I don't even know what we're doing today. I'm here for the vibes, guys. I'm literally here for the vibes. This is breakfast. You can pick a whole bunch of stuff scrambled eggs, plantain, French toast, pancakes, and then there's even more. I've eaten like all the plantain I was given. <laughs> it's so good. guys know that on Monday is my birthday so we have just booked something for my birthday we booked the brightest rays in the Caribbean and the giant tortoise tour tortoises and stingrays on my birthday can't wait there's a whole bunch of other things that we can book here we can book like cruises we can book a whole entire island tour like I love it literally I can't can't wait but now we're just gonna sort out the day and then go wait, what we do today? either way it's whatever you want to do Y'all hear that? As long as you don't bankrupt Whatever I wanna do, on this pocket. It's my birthday. Oh, I wish it was my birthday every day. I really do wish, because I would I would rob you dry. She said oh, she's killing me. It is what it is. is shining the weather is sweet <laughs> i am so lit i got my cockerick cockerida what's this oh uh, a drink a drink of some sort my sand in the toes i got my hair out i got my baby in front of me i got a beach tell me why i'm not a happy girl god bless more life more living, more success, more love. I love this man so much. I'm about to get trashed. Oh, what do you want? I won. I won, I want to know. <laughs> I won. You won what? I won the game. I'm gonna try and bury this in rice. I have zero hope for this, by the way, zero. Good evening, guys. Let me fill you in on today, today. <laughs> First of all, I have just thrown up downstairs by the front of the house. I don't even know what's up. I went to bed feeling a little bit cold and weird. And then I woke up and literally within five minutes of me standing up outside, I was just like, babe, I felt really sick. And then ran downstairs and just threw up. But it was just all water because I really haven't eaten much today. Besides that, my camera is broken <laughs> the sony camera got water in it and it's just broken it's got a lot of rice in it but everyone on ig is basically like vlog on your phone vlog on your phone so i'm vlogging on my phone nobody should complain about the quality because i'm doing the best of what i can but um yeah today feels like a i don't know what's going on i had a really good day did you have a good day to start with it's been a good day, it's been a good day. now i want to go and see if i can get some food down me hopefully feel a little bit better I don't know what's going on. I hope I feel better before my birthday. That's literally the only thing I want to do. You look so freaking. Let me. Let's get a turn around. You look good. Good morning. Good morning, all. Lydia is feeling so much better. So 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 much better. As you can see, I look skintier. Yeah. It's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, I look skintier from all the throwing up. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. At all. At least the waist is We're here for breakfast. Alright, you look cute. Thanks, babe. Let's go eat. So this is the restaurant area. The view is so pretty. At the back there, it's stunning. This is where I came last night and we sat right there for, for dinner and I just couldn't do it. My stomach was doing goo goo gaga. This restaurant is called Topaz. <laughs> I 
also got tons of games outside here. Like they've got board games right here. And then they've got a pool table. They've got tennis. This, they're called the Pink Panthers. And they're like ladies who take you out on a safari in Antigua. So we're definitely going to be doing that at some point. This here is where we can rent cars and ATVs. The plan now is that we are planning on getting some kind of ATV or Jeep possibly so that we can get around the island. If you guys know that we are real adventure babes and so adventures is usually what we're seeking. <laughs> Yeah, Friday. Today's Sunday. Day three, actually. How am I finding? Yeah. I'm happy. I'm with my babes. Yeah. Which makes everything important and great. Mhm. Mm Tomorrow is your actual birthday. It's my birthday. That's gonna be lit. <laughs> Pineapple Beach Club. Yeah. Finesse the thing on top of the what finesse. I already finesse. Yeah. Um. But yeah, just looking forward to the rest of the week. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it too. Either way, anyway, we're just in the pool. Chilling by the pool. This is the main pool, um, and then we're gonna go and have dinner at 8.30. We've got dinner reservations, but until then, it's just a chill day for us. We're gonna stay in the resort. You look like an <laughs> And keeping it really, really simple, literally no jewelry, no nothing. My skin reacts really badly to the sun. It's the most ridiculous thing I know. How can somebody who's vitamin D deficient also be like allergic to the sun? It's my birthday in a few hours. It's my birthday already in the UK, so happy UK birthday to me. Happy Kenyan birthday to me. But not so much happy Antigua birthday. Also, I've realized I think I might have been saying Antigua. And I've been corrected by somebody a few times. <laughs> a few times still. So yeah, it's Antica. Let's go. Let's go to Dins. You ready? Okay, so this is reception right here. And I believe we are going for dinner there. From dinner we want to go for a little cheeky dip and when i say dip i really do mean like a skinny dip <sighs> to the beach she That's still has clothes on. clothes on right it's now. your birthday in 45 minutes what's the market visa which one to go is this well, this is the second time we're trying to do this the first time we walked all the way to the edge and then we looked at each other like yeah uh, and then there was some mad lightning <laughs> from behind it was like a message from god we're gonna do it I decided to do it with lightning, but it's fine. I'm running out. As you can see, I'm a bit wet. We got into like this much, but otherwise, there's just too much seaweed. There's way too much seaweed. And it feels weird when it's touching you up. It's like fish or someone or something. And it's dark, so and it's, it's just... dark, so you can't see. But I think, but does that kind of just give me dip? Okay. Need it. <laughs> need, need it. it. <laughs> yeah, need it done. Now we're going to go to the by the Um, my swim, what is it? Is it Misa Swim? I think so. Black owned, feeling good. Guys, I'm in such a good mood. My camera is back. We're back. We're better. We're Gucci, whatever. Shout out to Ahis. And um, 
We're just here to swim with the stingrays. Oh, Hopefully, you don't die. No, no, no. As usual, water shoes, guys. I'm gonna link these below. You have to get these water shoes because they're so comfy and they keep your feet safe when you are in the water. I've had these for like years at this point, and they never, ever, ever do well. The type of stingrays that we have are southern stingrays. You're pretty much going to see all female ones. Alright, it's a lot of big ones, okay? It's a woman's world out there. The way you tell the difference though between a young female and a fully grown male is they'd be about the same size. Is at the base of the tail, the males have two reproductive organs that stick off called claspers. The females, they wouldn't have that, alright? Their eyes are on top. Behind the eyes, they're going to have two holes. They're called spiracles. It's like the stingray's nose, it's connected to the mouth. They're always sucking in stuff through their mouth. Whatever they don't want to swallow, they can spit back out through those two holes. We've just got an induction on, on everything to do with the stingrays. And now, before we go into the waters, I'm taking a life vest, I've got my water shoes, and I need to sign a waiver. There's always a waiver to be signed. With these things, it's like, you could die. <laughs> always. Just um, hope you don't. <laughs> just hope that you don't. Pray that you've got insurance as well. Yeah, waivers, and then we're gonna go and swim in stingrays. And apparently they shouldn't be harmful. They don't have any control <laughs> over the bar. It just goes where the tail goes. So yeah. you have to hit into it. Really hard. So yeah. what happened to Steve Irving? He was just swimming down over top of it. And the camera guy came up in front, and the stingray backed up. He was going forward and just swam into it. Anywhere else he'd have been fine. Really? He got it in the heart, so. And that's what happened. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not All right, thank you. It even matches my swim. Everybody else in that boat, but me and my boo, we here. Just the two of us. It's about an eight to 10 minute boat right out to the park. It does get a little windy. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to hold on to your hat. Make sure it doesn't blow away. Make a very important point. It's my birthday today. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> So we have got to where all the stingrays are. You might see one floating about in a second. It's so cool, you guys. So freaking cool. Like I've, I've never ever swung with stingrays before. I've got my baby here setting up the drone. We're gonna get some fire drift up. Oh, there you go, look. Oh my god. <laughs> what a way to turn 29. just come back in from my first little session with the stingrays and let me tell you what I am scored <laughs> they look like monsters I'm sorry they genuinely look like sea monsters that float the stinging part mm -mm, I want no parts of it but they're like yeah it's fine the stingrays are fine they're not gonna hurt you just jump in feed them feed them are they gonna feed on me but it's a lot of fun just scary fun like literally so now i'm gonna take the gopro and i'm gonna show you guys sting rays roll the gopro footage let's go Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> Please go away. <laughs> I don't want to be friends with you. Honestly, thing right sitting. Yeah, there's one behind you. <laughs> one right. Yeah. You know, you know me, I'm a bit of a nature girl. So. Yeah. How is it like feeding them? Did you feed one? I can't honestly. <laughs> the thing got here, then stop biting it. I said, listen, go spend for yourself. <laughs> Not interested. get on top of the little ones does it hurt them not really it's just it's just probably uncomfortable it's more yeah. like just being pushed down on yeah and they can't move freely yeah but i don't think it hurts them i don't think they feel too much pain like in their shell like that but i'm sure if you if you were to break the shell it would hurt or like drill a hole into it then, Ooh. then yeah it would really hurt them so yeah, guys we are at lavascon like island i think i'm saying that wrong but basically tortoises they're so cute. They're huge. All these tortoises here. Look at them. Tortoises. Turtles are in the water, tortoises are on land. So there's tortoises here. There's so many of them. There's like young ones, old ones. And what I've learned today is that they can actually feel on their shell. If you rub them, they actually feel the sensation, which is quite weird because and they stop, they wait, they chill. Yeah, they stop and wait if you rub they love their the, back. They love a massage. They love a little bit of a Sanilla. Spanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Spanilla, where you at? Shout out to the best masseuse in London, Spanilla. If you're looking for a masseuse, go hit her up. But um, yeah, we're just here to feed them. They're really lovely, actually, I think. Though they're a bit ugly looking. Babe, what do you think? I think they're cute. You think they're cute? Absolutely. No, I think they're quite ugly looking, but they're kind of cute. I like how slow they are. <laughs> because I can outrun them, that's the best part. We also get a rum punch. You guys know we love a rum punch when we're away. Look at all this rum punch that there is to drink. The tourist is gonna get lit too. <laughs> I might dip a carrot in a rum punch. Get them moving like this. <laughs> get them slow. Get them slow. <laughs> oh, fun fact that I've just learned that tortoises breathe six breaths per minute. No, heartbeat. Their I heart Please, come, can you come over and just explain things? Give, give us some facts, please. <laughs> give us some facts. Their heart beats six times a minute. Mm -hmm. um, they can... We can't see you. Oh, wet. You tell me um, the fact now, repeat it. How about so, that? Yeah. Three fun facts that I've learned today about tortoises. Number one, their heart beats six times a minute. Hold their breath for like 30 minutes. If they go underwater or something. They can go a month or two without food. That's crazy. They live Where 200 they plus years. Where do they store their food in the meantime? Is it just like a camel kind of situation? No, they could just go without it. They, they, they're so good at just conserving their energy in general. Like they don't do much so they can go with, they don't exert energy. A lot of energy, that. yeah. So they can just, it stores in their body. So who's the same. oldest that you've got here? Um, he's in his 60s, Mr. Brown. Mr. Who's Brown, guy guys, come meet Mr. Brown. Oh, which one? He's that big guy there. This guy here? Yeah. This is Mr. Brown. He's 60 years old, human years, right? Yep. Wow. Yeah, they live like 200 plus years. Wow, wow, wow. So he is double my age plus one. The oldest they had in captivity was 196. 196? Yeah, I weighed 668 pounds. So not only do you get the big ones here, let me show you these little ones. The little ones are the cutest. You can actually hold them in your hand. Oh, look, they've got parrots. Okay, we'll look at parrots in a minute. Let's look at these little babies. Look, you probably can't see them, but look, these little babies here. All of these are little turtles. Look at this guy. Look at these guys. All these little baby tur tortoises, not turtles, tortoises. And they're literally all clamoring on top of each other. I don't know what's going on. I hope that everyone who's at the bottom is all right. <laughs> they're tiny. This guy's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Hello, madam, madam. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hello. 
Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Oh. Hello. Babe. Did you hear that one? Hello. We've got Rainbow here, and Rainbow is from the woodlands of northern and central South America. Do you know what the great thing is that look, the gate is open so they can actually go whenever they want to go. Oh, there's a blue one. Hello. Hello. Rainbow has no time for me. Hello. Baby, why does he walk like that? No, please don't bite me. Oh, Hello. there you go. Hi. Hi. What happened to them? They're the guy's feathers. She plucks out her feathers because she wants to mate. We took away the mating box. Oh, that looks painful. <laughs> Self-harm. Sis, what are you doing? This guy picks out his own feathers. Don't. You ain't got to be mean. <laughs> See the rain. See my birthday. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Wow. I guess we'll be staying Time to say goodbye to the rice that has saved the vlog. The rice that saved the Antigua vlog. Shout out to you, man. And then we are now packed. We're gonna move to the next room. We're being upgraded. Shout out to Pineapple Beach Club for looking after us and upgrading us. We have no idea what the room looks like, but we are excited. And I'm sad to be leaving the rice, but I wanted to say goodbye to the rice. Say goodbye to the rice. Thank you for saving the vlog. The rain has stopped once again, and it's again very, very humid. That's just how it goes. We've got all of our bags, and we're about to move somewhere up the hill. I'm so freaking excited. I don't even know what it looks like, but Porter is here to help us move. This is my birthday dress. I want to wear this. We've got dinner in the next 50 minutes, so we have to rush and be quick with this because I don't want to miss dinner, obviously. What the hell? Yeah, this is that. 10 out of 10 for me, and the view is insane. Y'all see that? Look at that. In Ethiopia, they have a lot of raw beef. I know. But we're not in Ethiopia. At all. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. You're still scared. <laughs> what does it taste? It tastes bad. It's just... Is it because you know it's raw? It's completely because I know it's raw. It's I think it's quite nice. It's quite nice. Is that having raw tuna? I, I wouldn't have the whole thing then. The fish cake slapped them. The fish cake is very nice.
morning guys good morning this is going to be our new toy for the next four days that we're remaining here we hired ourselves a jeep wrangler we just don't know anything that we don't know how to take the roof down but this is going to be our ride look at how buff that is so guys today's agenda is we are going jet skiing we're going to be doing water sports and we're going to the other side of the island hence why we are in our jeep we're going to go with the company called real paradise jet ski antigua thank you so much for inviting us down to enjoy the jet skis with you guys it's me and my boom and it's gonna be a private tour and one tip i wanted to give you guys is that we've downloaded google maps here you can download google maps offline so as we're driving now we don't have any wi-fi however the map is like fully loaded for the whole island so we can go anywhere and it's preloaded. that's a really really good handy tip for anyone who might want to hire a car in a different location make sure that you download the map already so yeah we are gonna go jet skiing and I honestly cannot wait I haven't been in a jet ski since can just pulled up to a local restaurant called Cool Runnings. This was recommended um, and now obviously because we're in COVID you can't actually eat in so it's everything's takeaway, lunch and dinner. So it's a good thing anyway because I don't even have a, a top I just have my bikini but we are gonna go in here and order some local food. guys good afternoon or even evening rather we're back finally from such a fun day today we had so much fun on the jet skis a big 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 massive shout out to the real paradise jet ski tour company for giving us such an amazing day like we went on that private tour like a private jet ski tour and went to three different beaches just saw so much like just different things it looked so so good despite the rain in fact i feel like the rain even still made for a better experience though trying to drive a jet ski one you can't see is <laughs> it's exhilarating I'll, I'll call it that okay but besides that we had such an amazing day like we saw these villas that were a thousand two hundred dollars in fact these villas were in the sea like in in the actual sea and it's like a thousand two hundred dollars per night to stay there i have to stay there at some point in life like i literally have to but besides that an amazing 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 day i would highly recommend the jet ski tour company for you guys to check them out i'm going to leave all of their details in the description box for you guys to go and check them out please do and tell them that lydia sent you literally we had such an amazing time so we're in the east side of the island and st john's is on the west side of the island so we drove there like i said this morning we had hired a jeep like a wrangler which is so good if you're coming to antigua i would highly recommend that you hire one of those as well because it just means that you can get around the island very quickly it's a small island so for me to get from like east to west it literally took us like 45 minutes max the roads definitely call for like a, a more jeep 4x4 kind of car you can drive the normal cars on the roads but some of the potholes i'm just basically sat here so that i can cream myself and when i say cream myself this is these are all of my anti-h cream this is a hydrocrotazin y'all know people who have 
um, allergies and people who itch, people who are allergic to the sun like me, we need this for real. So we stopped by two pharmacies in St. John's, St. John's is basically town. In fact, I picked these up from the supermarket and then picked the, this up from the pharmacy. This one is so good. This one is 2%. If you are somebody who has like, who gets heat rash, or in fact, this is really good for if you get bites as well. Itching, rashes, stings, and bites. The food that we had from Cool Runnings, delicious. The portion sizes at Cool Runnings, delicious. Like it was basically two meals in one. So we had a really, really good day. Really, really good day. Oh, so guys, this is the exit of our new room. As you can see, we are overlooking the main pool areas. And then down here, this is like where all the food happens. Just how I like it. Wow! <laughs> wow! That woke me up! <laughs> afternoon guys good afternoon so we've just had our covid tests because we're leaving in two days time and the hotel actually provide covid tests for their guests so that it makes it a lot easier for them to like do the whole process so we just had that done now and then now we're just about to be joined by our friends george and sandra who are here for their honeymoon too so yeah um they're here and they've come to visit us today at the beach club and we're hopefully gonna just chill, hang, drink. My bikini is SW Swim, black owned, love. And in fact, this dress is from Never Fully Dressed, but it's been designed by a black woman. So we love that. We absolutely love that. But anyway, all the guys are here. George and Sandra are here at reception. So Boo has gone to collect them. Let's go meet our friends. Let's go and join them in their honeymoon. And let's just have a fantastic day. And look who we found. <laughs> We're just gonna drink. We're just gonna drink. That's, that's the plan. The plan has updated very quickly. So Jordan Sandra came to like check out our hotel to hang out with us, and then guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? They decided to book. They decided to book one night here so they could spend more time with us because that's just who we are. That's just what we do. So they're gonna come stay a night. They've actually left where they're staying for their honeymoon and they're gonna stay here for one night. And we're just gonna go and chill and hang and the steel band's playing. There's like a live steel band's playing tonight. And there's a barbecue, there's an outdoor dinner. It's a bit of a vibe. So this is my fit for the night. Vowelux, black owned. I love, love, love this. Shout out to Verbalox, by the way. I'm, I'm here in the background. Verbalox are always putting me through. Every time. Every time. DJs, every seat, time. Dresses, I say it. Every single time, Verbalox is always putting through. Ladies, if you don't know, get some. Man them. If you don't know, buy it. Get some Verbalox as well. Black owned business, all of that. So, tonight is a barbecue night. And they've got like a bit of a grill situation going on. And they've also got a live band, a live steel band right there. That's what we're going to be doing. Sandra's here. Sandra, what's up? Sandra. Oh, 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 oh. She's married. She, oh. <laughs> and I got my boy here. And we're just going to go and get food. This is like chicken. I really just want like a authentic Caribbean type of thing. Curry goat, braised oxtail. Happy birthday. Enjoyment, love, laughter, and joy. Let's enjoy. do it. Woo! I love you. Hi, everyone. Me again. So, this is a fantastic day. Shout out to the Pineapple Beach Club who hooked us up with uh, going on the Calypso Cat trip it was a fantastic trip we got to go around Antigua see various islands uh, we got to swim with the turtles this turtle that you're seeing now apparently got rescued by the calypso cats so every time uh, their boat comes along the turtle starts coming up for food uh, so we were chucking some fruit at her which she really loved went snorkeling like it was all around a 12 out of 10 day
So here is a conch shell. This is basically like a giant sea snail. Um, it is one of the local delicacies here in Antigua. It's basically like a snail. That's all I can say, a giant snail hiding inside. One fun fact uh, that I learned during this swim, during this dive is that these shells actually grow and it kind of blew my mind. I don't know why that blew my mind, but the fact that shells grow to really big sizes. Did you know that shells grow? It's just like a bone. <laughs> Yeah. And I missed the turtles. Like everybody else saw the turtles. I missed the turtles. Yeah. And that's really what I come out for. But Aww. male turtles only come to the nests to where the female turtles are once or twice a year. A year. And you know what they come for? Yeah. That. They come to knack. So most of the turtles that we're seeing underwater are mainly female turtles. Because they're holding down the fork, raising the kids, swimming, getting food. You know how we do out women out here, you know. Good afternoon guys, good afternoon. We are back in the Jeep, back in the car. Oh, the pole pole going past too. We had an amazing day at the Calypso camp. Thank you so much to Pineapple Beach Club for organizing that for us. That was so much fun. We went and we swam with the turtles. I wasn't even expecting it. Maybe we expected to see the turtles. No, I wasn't actually. I, was just I, mean, like... I didn't see it. Oh, I wasn't oh. expecting that we were going to get to see Turtles. 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 At all. Food. We had snacks, there was unlimited booze on the team. Oh yeah. Um, it was a good vibe, it was a great vibe. Soca music blasting. Yep. The whole thing was a vibe. And then when we were at the Calypso Cat, we asked uh, one of the ladies there to let us know where we could get some local food and she gave us a few spots. So now we are driving across the island. It's like a 46 minute drive across the island um, to go and go to Darkwood Beach to see a very pretty beach and also get some local food. So that's our agenda for today. We only have one more day tomorrow, but tomorrow our flight is not until like 9 p.m. So we're gonna have a whole entire day of fun still. Like, we're still here. We're still very we much of this country. Lydia's taking over the driving. That's what's up. So far my head hasn't gone through the windscreen so I guess it's not terrible. Rate me a little. The views here, I tried to fly the drone but there's no reception. up at Darkwood Beach there is like a, a bar and a restaurant here that we've just ordered food from finally got some local food that we have been on a hunt for it's a conch curry so this is the conch that I was showing you guys earlier um, when we're in the sea when we're in the sea and then this is a red snapper with some plantain and chips I'm obsessed I need to let it go but I'm very much looking forward to trying some of that and then there's also like a, a water slide here and this beach is perfect this beach is like empty there's no seaweed it's really 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 picturesque it's gorgeous and it's quite big as well. We are at Darkwood Beach and then I get somebody tapping my shoulder. I'm like, <laughs> my man is flying a drone there. Who's tapping my back? It was Debbie. I've just met Debbie. Debbie's out here for her girl's birthday. <laughs> Down there, the two of them. She, her birthday was on what? September 7th. September 7th. Yeah. So on Tuesday, 
But um, Debbie, come say hi. What's your experience of, of um, Antigua been so far? It's been amazing. Yeah. Like the weather, the food, the people, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. The beaches. Amazing. The beaches, what on? The beaches. How many of the beaches you've been to besides this one? Ooh, I think we've been to I like don't two. I don't know the names, but we've been to like two or three of them. But the thing is, she's an adventure babe too, because she's been like, we did this, we did this, we did yeah. this, we did this. That's what I like. I'm yeah. not like a sit by the beach kind no, of no, babe. No, no, no. Like literally, yeah. Yeah. we only sit down to eat. morning guys good morning so today is friday it's our last day here in antigua we have just pulled up by the petrol station we are going to the zip line today and we need some more petrol first things first this jeep drinks petrol oh my goodness like for every single journey it's like a quarter tank right one half an hour drive is like a quarter tank gone every single time so we are planning on leaving um our flights at 9 p.m so we need to make sure that we're at the airport maybe like 7 7 30 it's a small airport um, and we're gonna drive ourselves in this Jeep. So that's the plan, um, but for now we wanna go and just enjoy our day. Like I wanna wash off all those bad vibes that the UK brings. How is the UK bad vibes and I'm not even there? Like bad vibes through the air. We wanna try and enjoy our last day in Antigua, go and do some zip lining, and then probably just find a beach to chill at again, just to chill. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. If you haven't already, why haven't you subscribed? Like, do you see the content that we're giving you? Do you see my man here doing the drone? Subscribe if you haven't already and like the video, share it with your friends and family and all of that. For now, let's get back to Antigua. guys is everywhere that you go there's a whole great cleaning system there's always water there's always soap so it makes it really easy for you to kind of stick with the covid guidelines we are at an adventure zipline place and i am guessing that these are probably our little zip things first order of business is signing the waiver forms as usual and then we're gonna go pay and then get into this I'm very excited though hello <laughs> hello i'm gonna be in a vlog What's your name? Hey there. Hello. He said I want some fun too. You want to be in the vlog too? He said what? I had somebody's on YouTube? <laughs> YouTube? Oh, kisses. Um, oh, baby, look. She just wants a cuddle. On me? Literally right on top of me. <laughs> you want a belly rub? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> too comfy. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, no. <laughs> that looks perfect. I'm here for the train. What happened? I'll say it here. Stay here. <laughs> and we don't hear anything. I want the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
but we are about to hop into our jeep and go back to the hotel and then go off to the next place before we go to the airport. Also, side note, we're very jealous of these people's jeep. Like, let me show you this. This is <laughs> this, this is, is what we we're This is the jeep we were actually supposed to get. We were meant to get this lovely jeep. You see how nice it is? It's white, it's new. And then look at our jeep. Look at our jeep. It's still nice, but this one, this is really where it's at. And the top of it can fold out and down. That's what we actually bought this one for. We rented this one because we wanted to fold the top, but they won. They absolutely won. So we have just pulled up. Um, as we were driving, I've seen like someone, oops, someone selling what seems to be local food on the side. And you guys know we are literally is on the hunt. Um, so we're going to jump out the car really quickly and see what he's selling. Hello. What are you selling, sir? Seafood pasta, bullfoot soup, conch water, steamed fish, Hi. lobster salad. Hi. Smells good. Tastes good too. Smells real good. Season rice. Season rice. Yeah, the, the soup has got an odd taste about it. Conk. You also got conk and goat meat. The passion fruit drink, this local drink, 10 out of 10. This is really nice. I don't even know what it's made out of. It's quite nice. And this, the what, chicken roti? Chicken roti. This is nice. leaving Pineapple Beach Club, done a final room check and there's nothing here guys. Oh, the depression is already kicking in and we haven't even left the door yet. Wearing VS Mine, this um, matching set, Blue's got a set too and I've got a set, um, black owned and yeah we're just on our way out. Yeah. 